So if you're suffering from back pain, weird rashes, gastrointestinal issues, gallbladder attacks, or a host of other issues, it could be that your gallbladder and your liver have stones called gallstones. <laughs> looks like these little peas and sometimes they can be as large as a quarter and I've even heard as large as a golf ball in some cases. Today we're going to be talking about the Miracle Liver and Gallbladder Cleanse by Andreas Moritz. So for starters, the liver is responsible for hundreds of functions in our bodies. It's almost if not just as important as our brain, as the largest gland that we have in our bodies. It is responsible for delivering nutrients to all of our cells, for constantly helping to detox our bodies from foreign matter that shouldn't be there, like viruses, bacteria, parasites. So it has an extremely important job, and because we're living in unprecedented times with so many toxins all around us, in our food, in our clothing, our detergent, or other cleaning supplies, cosmetics, and on and on. It's taxed with an important job of having to filter out all of those toxins 24 seven, which is an enormous job. Our gallbladder is what stores the bile, which helps the liver to break down fat when it's needed. So what can happen is over time, gallstones can accumulate in the body and this can obstruct the very important job that your liver and your gallbladder need to do. So in short, if your lifestyle isn't very healthy and you're eating foods that aren't so good for you, and on top of that, maybe you're going through a lot of stress or emotional turmoil, this is something to be underscored because oftentimes we don't associate having emotional issues as that being equated to our physical health. But nothing could be further from the truth. Our emotions and our physical health is extremely tied together. It just so happens that our liver, our gallbladder are extremely tied to feelings of grief, anger, resentment, frustration and many other emotions but the point is that if we're not processing emotions that need to be processed in a healthy way those emotions stay in our bodies in a repressed a suppressed mode if you will and they manifest themselves in the form of disease so having gallstones is another expression of how our emotions can be showing up in this physical manifestation and just saying, hey, 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 take a look at me. You're not paying attention to me. And I think this is so, so critical, so important that we start to honor our emotions for what they are so that we don't have these physical ailments and illnesses that suddenly appear or appear over time because we didn't take the time to really feel those very human emotions that we needed to acknowledge. So I think it's important that I mention the history of why I'm doing this liver cleanse. I did one very similar to this one by Andreas Moritz 13 years ago, but back then it was by a woman named Holda Clark that had a very similar protocol. Holda Clark was a pioneer back in the day. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us, bless her heart. But thanks to her protocol, it literally catapulted my life in another direction. What had happened leading up to that is I had just undergone a very traumatic breakup. I was living on the island of Hawaii and the breakup forced me to uproot myself and come back to the States. So much happened around that time frame. I also lost my homes. It was during the economic downturn. It was an extremely traumatic, dramatic time for me. And because I was forced to be in fight or flight mode, 
I wasn't able to process all my feelings back then, those feelings of grief from so much loss, those feelings of frustration and anger. So I'm convinced that that was a big part of what caused the formation of gallstones in my liver and gallbladder. So fortunately, soon after, I was able to pick up my life and I moved to Puerto Vallarta. But living in Puerto Vallarta didn't eliminate the problem that had already occurred uh, with my liver and gallbladder. So what ensued was I started to have more gallbladder attacks. I had a series of about three or four and everyone was telling me at the time, well, Marcella, you need to just get your gallbladder taken out because this is the typical way that people choose to alleviate those very, very painful attacks that can occur when you have gallstones in your gallbladder and liver. But there was something inside of me. I just knew I wanted to wait intuitively because I intuitively, intuitively felt that my gallbladder was there for a reason. Now, of course, I respect everyone's decision on what they choose to do, but for me at the time, I just wanted to wait. It was basically about five days of eating fruits and vegetables. I can't remember exactly what fruits and vegetables or what some of the other specifications were, but after a certain amount of time, I was to drink some Epsom salts with water at specified times, and then olive juice, I mean, olive oil, excuse me, with grape juice at a specified time. Um, yeah, it all sounds really weird and strange. I even had to lie down a certain way so that I was on the side of where my liver and gallbladder are. And um, what ensued was nothing short of really at the time and even now seems miraculous to me because I literally expelled hundreds of pea-sized stones from my gallbladder. You see them all floating in the toilet because that's what they do, they float. And I know this is really gross to think about, but seriously, I, I was in awe. I couldn't believe that all I did at the time was give my body what it needed to heal itself that was already found in nature and lo and behold, I expelled all of these stones from my body. I also had a tremendous crying spell that came with it out of nowhere. And then I realized in retrospect that it was basically that grief, that frustration, that anger that I hadn't allowed myself to really feel back then. So powerful, powerful stuff. What I didn't know back then is that I was supposed to repeat this until I no longer had gallstones coming out. But let me tell you, 13 years went by and I had not a single gallbladder attack until recently. So even though I didn't do the protocol completely right, it definitely helped enormously for 13 years. Interestingly, I'm in a situation again where I just finished another relationship, another very traumatic ending, and I uprooted myself again. And lo and behold, I'm having gallbladder attacks again. So the same story, everyone, the doctors, everyone was telling me what they knew, which is get your gallbladder taken out. I went and I had an ultrasound and sure enough, my all of my organs and my gastrointestinal tract were great except for my liver and gallbladder there were definitely a presence of stones and the ultrasound technician said to me this is really dangerous you really should get your gallbladder taken out because you are covered in stones knowing what i knew from back then you know i appreciated everybody's advice i just knew that i had to go back to the protocol and this is a, a cleanse that i have done periodically i did them last year a couple of times and then I stopped because of the breakup. And um, so I decided to give this a fair shot this time and do it exactly to the T until I no longer have stones. So I did it in January was my first one. 
of this year, 2023. This time I'm committed, I'm doing them one a month until I no longer have any stones coming out for two consecutive cleanses. But oh my gosh, let me tell you, again, this was incredible. It's, it's just incredible what your body expels when you give it the right tools to start to heal itself. So I encourage everyone to read this book. It is unbelievable. If anything, go to Amazon and see all of the reviews of transformations and how people have been restored to optimal wellness. It's amazing what kinds of ailments and illnesses one can have when they have gallstones that don't seem related to having problems with your liver and gallbladder at all. Remember, your liver and gallbladder are responsible for so many functions, vital functions in your body. And if they're clogged up, then your other organs aren't able to do their job. As well, you can have hormonal imbalances and so on and so forth. I'm gonna give you sort of a synopsis of how this works, but please read the book because this is really where it's at. So in a nutshell, you wanna reserve six days out of your month. And you wanna make sure that you're not cleansing on a full moon day because full moons are when you retain a lot of water. And so that's not conducive to helping your body detox and release the water that needs to be released when it expels the stones. Aside from that, um, there's six days that you've reserved. In those six days, you wanna be drinking six liters of apple juice, one liter of apple juice a day, and it's divided you know, throughout the day, so you don't wanna just chug it all in the morning. You wanna make sure that you're doing it mostly on an empty stomach, so half an hour before your meals, and then two hours after your meal, generally speaking. In your meals, you shouldn't be having anything that contains no animal products, no dairy products, and no fried products. So basically vegan meals for six days and lots of water. On the fifth day at night, you're going to prepare Epsom salts with water. And it's about, if I'm not mistaken, about 32 ounces divided into four. But again, it's all in the book. Then you divide those into four parts because you're gonna be drinking that, that Epsom salt when, with water at different times on the fifth, in the evening, and then on the next morning, the other two. On that night, on the fifth night, you're gonna be drinking approximately a cup of olive oil with a cup of grapefruit juice, okay? Now the reason for these is that you want to be drinking the Epsom salts with water because what it's doing is it's helping to expand the bile ducts so that the gallstones can pass through. And the apple juice is helping to soften the gallstones so that they're able to pass through. The olive oil is helping to make that contraction happen so that everything comes out when it's supposed to the next morning. Now, what happens the, the next morning, which is the sixth day, is after you've had your two servings of Epsom salts with water, um, you're gonna start to go to the bathroom a lot, both number one and number two. And then after, I think this last time, after about an hour is when I started to just go tons of water and the gallstones. And so you see the gallstones just floating on top on the toilet and you're just, I mean, every time I am just in awe of what just happened. It's truly very fascinating. And then what I did this time, I know it's super gross, um, with the plastic spoon, I collected them to put on a paper towel because I wanted to count the amount of stones that came out. I wanna be able to document every month how many stones are coming out. And I counted about 250 to 300, which is in this picture. Um, unbelievable. Also, it's 
incredibly important to note, as I mentioned earlier in the video, that you may have emotions that just surge from you. In my case, I was crying, sobbing from emotions that clearly I hadn't completely let go. And so remember, you're detoxing. You're detoxing your liver, your gallbladder, and you're detoxing emotions. So super, super powerful. Um, it's a wonderful way to give yourself love, compassion. Um, the results, they're nothing short of astounding. You feel an amazing sense of well-being, restoration, like you just gave your whole insides a beautiful shower. It's just a renewed sense of, wow, I am doing something amazing for myself. And I am actually looking forward to this next one, which I'm doing, I already starting to drink the apple juice and I'll be doing the cleanse again this weekend. So I'll keep you posted on, on that. It is a commitment. It's six days out of your month, every month until you no longer have gallstones coming out in two consecutive cleanses. And um, for me, I mean, it's totally worth it. It's, I'm saving my gallbladder. I, uh, I feel like I'm doing so much good for my body in ways that I can't see on the inside, but I feel. Um, so I highly, highly, highly recommend taking a look at this cleanse. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know if this is something that you would be interested in trying. And um, for more tips on transformation, personal development, and holistic health, it's never too late to take care of yourself. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video.